So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I have a very interesting video. I'm not going to do the typical how-to video, I'm actually going to show you two things that you can do in Power BI that you might not know. The first one is how to actually, the possibility to create your own custom connectors in Power BI Desktop and the other one is how you can actually, what is the, proce the process to get custom connectors in Power BI.com. So, really, really nice tricks in case you don't know. I actually learned how to do powerbi.com last week, so stay tuned. So we're going to start with Power BI Desktop. Um, this was released a couple of weeks ago, the possibility to actually, for us, create our custom connectors. If you don't know what a connector is, let me show you in Power BI Desktop. So here we are in Power BI Desktop and when you want to import data, you go here to get data and this menu appears. These are the connectors that you have available that Microsoft has created for you. Okay, so they released a few weeks ago the possibility to create your own custom connectors and Miguel Escobar has actually created a connector for YouTube Analytics. I've been using it, it's absolutely fantastic. So I will put the links below in case you want to use it too. But he has a great example of how that can be actually done. There is also instructions online Here we have from Adam Saxton a, a blog post where he actually explains uh, how to create your own data connectors. So there is an SDK uh, developer preview that a package that you can download and then you can use Visual Studio to be able to create your own connectors. This is exactly what Miguel Escobar did and he actually published his uh, own the YouTube connector that he created for himself. He published it in GitHub and gave it to all of us. It is really, really, really good. So make sure you actually check it out. This means that basically you can have any connector that you want in Power BI. Maybe any is a little bit of an overstatement, but you can have a lot of connectors. We're not dependent on Microsoft anymore to actually be able to import data from different sources, which is great news. So this is for Power BI Desktop. What happens with PowerBI.com? Let me show you how that looks. If we go to PowerBI.com, I have a very slow connection today, I don't know why, but let's see if it loads. So let's back it up a notch. If you go to powerbi.com and then here you have a service, you click on get. And as you can see here, there are already connectors made for Power BI.com, the same that there are already connectors available for Power BI Desktop. And uh, I was actually working on a project that it made sense to create one of these connectors for a customer. So I didn't know the process on how to do this. And because I learned how to do it, I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So if you want to get your own connector in PowerBI.com, there are certain steps you must take. And there is a blog post from Microsoft about it. It's called, I have it here, I will, put, put, I will post a link in the description box. And here again, Adam Saxton goes through the steps that are needed or required to be able to get your own connector, the connector for your own product or your own service approved into powerbi.com. So you have to review the requirements. You have them here, the basic requirements, what type of authentication you can have, what type of application you should be. Once you have that, you have to build the template in Power BI Desktop. Once you have that, you publish it at powerbi.com and you create a dashboard. Then you test the content pack within your organization, okay? They want you to test it first, not just to do something and ask them to test it. 
And once you're ready and you know that it's working the way you like it, you submit it and hopefully it will get approved. So it's quite a straightforward. You just build it and you send it to them the same way you build an app for the App Store or the Google Play Store. So yeah, now you know. You can have your own connectors both in Power BI Desktop and in PowerBI.com and I have links down below on how to do that for both the processes. So hopefully this is helpful for you. It's been definitely helpful for me. And uh, have you built any connector? If uh, you have done it, I would love to hear your experience. And if it is open source, please let us know because I, I can give, definitely I can give it a go and hopefully others can also use it. So this is all for today. Just uh, have a great, great evening. Bye.